Okay, here we are. Um, let's see, Susan has prepared minutes. I think I attached them to a message recently. Uh, does anybody, anybody want to make a motion to approve them? So move. I'll second. Okay. Uh, any, any changes, discussion? Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye, 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 aye. Okay, great, great. So um, the center school, um, uh, I have something, but I'm gonna save it until after uh, we actually talk about the two, I think, uh, Judy, you've sent us two messages requesting action from the Historical Commission. Um, do you want to talk us through those? Well, I think the second one is the more current. Um, yeah, I think most of you know that the Center School Visioning Committee 2 got approval from, or I guess it's preliminary approval from the select board to try to firm up their proposal for September. And the select board voted to, not to accept either of the two outside proposals for this center school. Um, the As we contemplated it, when we talked to the select board, we would pursue getting the roof fixed over this or as soon as possible. Um, and at that point, we were thinking primarily about CPA money as the backstop. And then they had requested firming up estimates and usage proposals by September. Well, it turned out when we started to look at the grants, they're all due this spring, they're all due in the spring, not in the winter. So if we waited till September to start applying for grants, it would be the following fall when we would get them. So we accelerated the project and decided to pursue grants for the exterior of the building, the stabilization, the um, keep it intact, do the roof, the masonry, um, the windows, perhaps the septic, um, the things that could be done without having specific uses in mind. We didn't have a design concept because quite honestly, we didn't have the expertise or the time. Um, we don't know enough about building codes and, and the like, or costs or that sort of thing. And the second attach, the second message included an outline of the the three grants that are due um, May first and June fifth. Um, one of them, the National Trust Heart Family Fund, is primarily for planning or promotion. It's it's not. It's designed, I think, primarily for nonprofits and other groups to try and promote awareness of preservation. But one of the eligible topics is to try and uh, to hire professionals to save an endangered work on plans for saving an endangered building. So the feasibility study for future uses would be would be eligible. That grant will give a maximum of fifteen thousand dollars. Uh, requires a hundred percent match, and I, to be perfectly honest, think our it's national grant. They say it's highly competitive. I would think our odds of getting something are probably twenty five percent or less, but still, one should try. The others are much more promising, also much larger grant volumes and don't require a match. The underutilized properties program one is designed specifically for a situation like, like the center school where it's a municipal building that is 
uh, well, underutilized, obviously, probably abandoned. For it can be used for planning or construction. Planning being site development, feasibility, that kind of thing, construction. Grants range from 50,000 to a million dollars. Last year, they gave out 50 grants. Uh, the average was upwards of $450,000. Um, it can only be used for non-municipal uses. So you have to have an underutilized building that's owned by a municipality that you want to be used for something that's not a municipal use, which I think limits the potential pool of people who will apply. So it's perfect for the center school. The second one is the R Rural Development Fund grant. Um, that's used to be, to, it's for small towns, less than 7,000 people. And it's a municipal grant. Those also are large, 50,000 to 250,000. I'm sorry, they Judy, what is, what is that one called? You said small office, towns? Well, we'll call it the Rural Development Fund Grant. Thank you. Um, grants range from 50,000 to 250,000. Um, last year's awards averaged 198,000, I think. Um, actually, Waitley got one. I haven't been able to figure out what it was for. It was 84,000 for some and I don't know what. Now, this one doesn't require a grant a match, but it's one of those grants where you accumulate scores, and the higher score you get, the better your chance of getting something or getting more. And one of the score factors is that the town is willing to invest something in the project. So I think that our intent is to ask the CPA to, to approve 25,000 for that, which obviously if we don't get anything from them, we won't have to, won't have to be paid. I'm, I expect we don't, we're getting estimates now from, mostly from the people that Sir and Jira Millie contacted. They were nice enough to send their, their um, estimate details to, to Jenny Miriam. So she has everything that they had. I haven't seen them, but she, she has them. So the people are all people who are familiar with Secretary of the Interior's standards, um, well-regarded. <coughs> good at institutional kinds of projects and large projects. Our seat of the pants estimate going to the select board was that this stage, the exterior stabilization would cost about $670,000. Their reaction was that this is way too low. And they're probably right. Um, on that basis, I, as I say, we don't have numbers yet. I would not be surprised if, if for these two grants combined, we would be applying for, we'll say 900,000 for 800 or 900,000 for the underutilized properties fund and another 400,000 or so for the, for the rural development fund. A lot of that, probably most of that, will be overlapping requests on the theory that we won't get everything we want from either of them. So um, with luck, we get, I don't know, $500,000, $600,000, which would go a long way towards fixing the building, the exterior, anyway. and we'd have a start on feasibility study. Now, all of these grants, two of them specifically have places where you can put, I think actually they all have places where you can show community support 
in community support is nice for, for somebody sure. looking at these grant things in with this municipal grants. I think it's almost imperative. So what I had, was hoping is that the historical commission would write a letter of support um, for saving the building, preserving it for some future use. It doesn't have to be support for a particular use. Um, it shouldn't be at this point, I don't think. We don't really have a clue. We have some ideas, but there's a long way to go before there's a use identified. The intent is to have the building generate income that will help pay the maintenance expense once once it's up and running. And hopefully to have minimal requirements for, for town oversight. And I think the uses that are picked will probably probably take that into account heavily. Thank you. Thanks. Um, I ha I have one question, but let me who else who would like who else has questions? No. Um, this is just a point of fact. Judy, did you? attend the select board meeting where the six month uh, window yes. was awarded. Yes. Um, we I'm still I'm still bearing the scars. We had um <laughs> we we had written before that meeting to ask the select board to commit to um uh, requiring the same historic preservation standards that would have been applied had we sold the building. Did they act on that? It was on the agenda. It was on the agenda after after Jenny was. So by the time they got to it, they had already approved Jenny's request and they decided it was too late to act on it. Okay. I think I think in context. I, I think actually it might make sense to submit resubmit that. I have to say that at that point we were, I don't know if anybody's seen the recording or. Seen what? It was a very, it was a odd set of dynamics. Um, Fred and Julie were present physically and Joyce was participating on Zoom and Fred and Julie spent a lot of time talking about about the proposal and how pleased they were to see it and and how it really needed a lot of work and and um, and this kind of thing and then Fred finally asked Joyce if she had comments by that time she was so mad she could barely contain herself and she was extremely rude. It was also two o'clock in the morning where she was. Oh man, I mean, she's, in, she's in Sweden. <laughs> she really, how is she gonna do the, is she coming back to do the scoop? <laughs> do you really, she's gonna do it the same way she did when they were Sweden in Sweden for a week. She does some of it, people here do some other things. Okay. For a month, for a year, I mean, she was gone. Well, I didn't realize that, but she. Yes, so. Uh, she um, laid into the committee vehemently. And I think at the end of that, we were all kind of in shock. I know I was, so. Well, uh, thank you. Um, I, I agree. I, I mean, I happen to think it would be fine <laughs> for the Historical Commission to submit a letter in support of um, responsible historic preservation for the building, but I would like to know that the select board is committed to that. And if they didn't, if they didn't have that discussion, then I think we should ask for it. What's your, what's your, when are these grants proposals due? I'm sorry, I know you just sent that today, and I, something was due in April, oh, and no, something was due in June, and I don't remember <laughs> what the what the well, dates were. The the National Trust one. 
which requires secretary standards. So you don't really need it in place for that. And I guess if we get that and use that for the feasibility study, then it has to happen anyway. Um, as if we wanted every use with, with once we asked for CPA money. Um, that one is due May 1st. The other ones are due June 5th. Um, so I think if you, if you wanted to do it for the for the National Trust one, that wouldn't be an issue because it's a requirement of of the funding that the project use the secretary standards. Right, like the like the Massachusetts press, uh, like the the Mass Grant that we got for the window preservation, yeah, and the CPA, hall, and like the CPA money. Okay, uh, the other two don't. Yeah, I hear, yeah, or now I hear, I assume that. So um, if, do, I think your idea of resubmitting the request is a good idea. Um, does it make sense for folks for me to send that? I'll probably send it to Fred and is, which of our part-time town administrators seems to be supporting this? Could you Julie tell? Fred. Julian Fred. No, 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 I'm not asking about, no. Is it oh, Trish uh -oh. or is it Lynn? <laughs> well, actually, I could. They use the I same email. I don't know that it's. I don't. I'm sorry, administrator. So, no, um, no, it's okay. That's okay. I can just send it to that email. They they seem both yeah, they, to be reading the they, same email. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I will do that, and ask for an, a, a formal <laughs> response. Sylvie. Yeah. Sylvie is, Sylvie is the staff person right. to the extent that they're one for this. Right. She kind of um, opted in, I think, which is interesting. She what? Opted in. She she kind of went from, I don't know, the RFP committee, she just sort of assumed that she was working on this as well. So she has been. We've been trying to minimize her role. Since nothing much has happened yet, that hasn't been too hard. Um, so does that make sense to folks to prepare a simple, minimal statement of support for historic preservation that um, Judy can use with her, the um, National Trust grant application, but go back to the select board and ask for something more formal before the others? Like a reasonable idea, yeah. Okay. Um, Judy, we don't have to do this orally. Could you send me a note that say, you know, you know how the letter should be addressed? <laughs> that sort okay. of thing. <laughs> no, I mean, wanna, I mean, we, we can do wanna. to whom it may concern, but it was probably yeah. better if you tell me exactly what it is we are applying for and what, the, you know. Yeah, you might want to look at the grant too. It's a, this, I've, it's one of these things where you get, you know, 250 characters in a slot to to write something inspiring. By the grant, do you mean your draft application? Is that what you mean? Yeah, the application is online and, and they don't, they obviously don't want a lot of verbiage. And yet it's highly competitive. And yet they seem to be wanting to stimulate um, greater community involvement in preservation. So I, I'll, I'll send you a section. I, just, I've been trying just, to... just since it's going to have to be done before May 1st, just send me something that tells me what I should look at and, you know, okay. <laughs> what you want done. All right. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. Um, okay. Um, your second note was about CPA application, possibly for the June deadline. Maybe it was your first note, but there was a separate that was the note. first one, and well, for the June and, CPA deadline, and, and maybe just to you know, uh, just to you had suggested in it that the historical commission should submit that application, and I would cut to the chase and say I think it would be better if the center school committee so submitted too. it, and then we have the responsibility of voting on yep. its eligibility. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
that's just it's just save you because it was a long I, message and you don't have I think the this is a moving target and every every time you look at it the numbers change but right now the application would be for thirty seven hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars instead of the larger number I wrote before. Um that could easily change by the time something happens. But do you think you can um do you think you could uh at least talk us through uh, what you're planning to do even if you haven't done it yet for the CPA application by the May 20th meeting of this group? Because then we can actually vote <laughs> to do. Yeah, I, I should have it drafted by then. Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. Um, One thing that is important, I've talked to Alan about, these grants are all awarded in September. So presumably the town meeting where they approve the CPA money will, will be October or November. So at that point, one would either know whether there's any point taking it to town meeting or not. Okay. Um, anybody else have another, any other center school questions or discussion? Well, the only question, I'm not sure it's appropriate to deal with it here, but what were Joyce's objections to the, the center school project? The, Volunteers to not do this work. She started off, who is on this committee? We we didn't list the committee members on the okay. on the proposal to them, partly because we had to submit it so quickly that there wasn't time to make sure that everybody wanted their name on it. It turned out everybody did, but that that was okay. that was why. Who are they? Who, why are you hiding? Who, who are you people? I don't know you. How can I? <laughs> That's where it started. And then this won't work. Volunteers cannot do this project. Um, you don't have the capability. It can't be done. You will fail. She said that louder than that about four times. So I'm not going to write this into our minutes. Is that okay? Please don't. Yeah. We're, we're I, recording anyway. So. Yeah, I know, but okay. <laughs> um, now she thinks that, well, every, I think one thing is everybody knows it's going to be a lot of money poured into the building. And most people think that the town will pick up the tab. I don't think that's, I don't think that's the center school committee's intent. Um, if we can manage to get it stabilized and then it turns out to be too expensive to do the rest, we can put it out for RFP again and put the building in much better shape. Um, but, and we will have time to work on it. So, so once, once it's in good shape, then, then you've bought yourself time. But most of it was just, you're, you're not capable. And I, fortunately, wasn't in a position to remind her that we did it for town hall with much fewer grant opportunities and a town hall staff that was smaller. So um, anyway. I think that's true, but I think it is also true that at every stage of the town hall drama, <laughs> and the first five years were more dramatic even than at least one member of the select board was always fully on board and actually doing work yeah, for the project. True. And I think that is a, I'm, I'm offering this as maybe a, advice yeah. that I think getting to that uh, would be this very, one I think is, and, oh. and, a, and a member of the finance committee because Dan Kennedy was on board from a certain point on pretty well. I, uh, I think those two absences, I, I'm assuming, unless, unless some, I, I don't know who your seven people are either. So maybe I'm missing something, but those two absences seem to me large. Yeah. Um, this one, at least in the first stage is very different because it's, 
it's discrete projects that don't need a lot of oversight and coordination. You know, there's there's only so much you can do with from town hall with the roof repair. Um, but in the second step, hopefully, well, we'll see, but that will depend on what the uses are. The way we had envisioned it, if, if it were a real estate use, then we had hoped that a real estate developer would handle the, the interior part of that. And, uh, but anyway, we'll does that, does that answer your question, Alan? I think so. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, my other, uh, center school topic is that I feel obligated. I think it is the right thing to do for me to get back to Michael Steiner at the mass historical commission to let him know where we are. I haven't had contact with him since August. I did not bring him in when we had, you know, fully, and this is such a minor issue in the overall scheme of things. Remember he, it was he who was very strong minded about the milk bottle and making sure the preservation was built in. And the select board asked us to take that out. So um, I, I, um, what I, what I would, what I will do, um, I mean, I could do this as an email from me, but I, I think what I'd like to do is draft a short letter and, it, at our May meeting, you will all have had a chance to look at it. And if you had advice, great. But I, I think closing that loop or bringing it up to date is both, well, courteous, but also sort of politically wise. <laughs> no. Okay, anything else about the center school? All right, good. Thank um, you. Sure. Our next topic is membership. Um, uh, Susan, thank you for recruiting Ashley Hazlitt. I reached out to her to thank her as well. And I have and confirmed that she would like to join um, effective July. I'm gonna assume that's July 1st. And I sent her some links to reading material and stuff like that, Great. you know, to do some backup. Did you send um, some that this has to get run by the select board? Well, she has to be appointed by the select board. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she will have to be appointed by the select board. Sounds I mean, reasonable. we we all have to be appointed by the select board. Okay. When we're appointed. Um, I, I don't know if you're concerned, but I have never been aware that the select board has rejected any member for any of the even major committees, let alone minor committees. I know this is part of, I, I know that's part of the process if that's what you're asking me. Yeah, but Fred okay. and Joyce, I, okay. no, I don't, can't speak for Julie, but Fred and Joyce know her and love her, so I'm not worried. Well, and we shouldn't be well, appearing only people who members of the select board already know anyway. <laughs> you know? If, um, uh, so I want you all to know um, that I am um, stepping off the historical commission as of the end of June. Um, it will have been 12 years. I am going to put this partly on you, Alan. I actually thought this through over the Christmas holidays, and then I was kind of caught up in the ad hoc committee, which was going on at that point. And then you made your announcement, and I thought, well, I'm not going to pile on, <laughs> you know, Alan. Um, but that. Um, that is what um, I've decided. I've talked to Alan Sanderson about it because this will also mean, of course, that I won't have a seat on the CPC after June 30. Um, so I would like to ask the rest of you, in addition to continuing to think about new members to begin thinking, unless you want to leap right into this right now about a chair and also a member of this committee to sit on the CPC. Um, which is actually a great committee and lots of fun, um, I think, as opposed to this one, which is sometimes fun. <laughs> you know? uh, and, and it doesn't have to be the chair. I mean, Howard Nenner was the representative before I was to the CPC, and he was not the chair of, um, of the Historical Commission. So... Uh, and I 
starting to make a list of sort of things that I have done as the chair that might be helpful to whoever steps into that seat, but we don't have to talk about it. I haven't finished it and I really want to get the filing in shape in our filing cabinet before the end of June, but I haven't done it yet. Good luck. Well, yeah. Good I luck don't with know the filing. What hearing this says, I'm leaving the planning board as of the end of June, which means I have to give up my seat on the CPC. So if none of I have intended to ask Alan if I could stay on as a non voting member just to kibitz, I guess, but I've been doing a lot of the technical stuff. So, and I don't think anybody there is quite ready to to give it, to fi fill in with that. <laughs> Jessica is doing very well, but she's, she, she, she's gonna need a little more training time. So if none of you wanted to be on the CPC, which I would recommend is, it, it's a fun committee. Um, I could do it. I think and it makes not... sense for it to be you, but that's just my opinion, Allison, what do you think? Yes, that makes sense. I, I, it's not something I'm going to take on. Yeah, I'm fine with you doing it, Judy. Is that okay with you, Donna? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll go to the June meeting. I'll, I've also been taking the minutes at the CBC meeting. So, but Alan was really nice, and he, when he groaned, he didn't. He was. He did not talk about the minutes. <laughs> yeah, yes, of course. I I guessed that you would be enthusiastic about that because Judy not only enjoys the meeting, she holds the CPC together by being the most knowledgeable mm -hmm. about the complicated guidelines. Um, yeah. So do we want to post, do, Alan, you also have a vote. I mean, because you know, I don't mean to be ignoring you. But. No, that's fine. I mean, I'm stepping down too. So in, yeah. what, what happens after is I mean, I have yeah. some influence on it, but not yeah. a whole lot. It sounds fine to me <laughs> so far. And uh, getting, okay. getting so new, the new member sounds good too. She's. So shall I tell, shall I go ahead and tell Alan Sanderson that that's what we've, we're recommending? Yeah, he, he doesn't officially know that I'm leaving the planning board, I don't think, but you can, yeah, I'll tell him that. Okay. You mean tell him about the planning board? Is that what that means? Well, you'll have to, you'll have to. Or he'll, or he'll wonder if you're going to be cloned. Um, Okay. That's I'll just a good segue. I'll just copy you. Okay. Um, all right. And the last thing was something Judy wanted to talk about. What is it called? Certified local. Could you just explain? Yeah, it was. What happened with that? You know, <laughs> the certified local government looked like a, like a great thing. Um, you could get preference for MHC grants and it, based on the stuff in the preservation brief, it didn't look like it was all that difficult. So I emailed, is it Jennifer? Jen, Jen something. Um, Doherty. Doherty. Yeah. yeah, and asked if there was an application form. And she, she said, well, yes. And she said, oh, by the way, um, and you can only apply for this or be eligible for this if you either have a local historic district or a landmark bylaw. And we don't have either. So, so we can't do it. Short discussion. Right. Oh. Um, so I should just write that we're not eligible for this. We're not eligible. Yeah, yeah we're not eligible. Which is too bad because there are, there's at least one grant program that frequently is limited to people, towns that have met this criteria or been uh, named certified local governments. 
Um, okay. Any other business? Okay. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of this beautiful day. Thank you. I can hardly move having spent three hours moving compost this morning. <laughs> well, we found somebody in the neighborhood who might want peaches or peach trees. So really excellent. Excellent. Of, there will but not till not till the fall. Okay. They won't okay. be tall they won't be tall enough till the fall. All right. We'll tell our <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.